just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Hayden Birdsong. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Here's the center fielder, Lawrence Butler. On the ground to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Here's Miguel Andujar. Ball to strike. Runner on the goal. Pitch inside. Throw to second. Save. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Here comes a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Line drive, and it stays fair. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Throws to second. Safe, and they take the lead. Back-to-back -back base hits. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and they can't get the out. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. And a pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And yeah, that's too high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. A's leading by a run, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. Up and in. Now two balls and a strike. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Two on, one out. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Full count. the ground to third goes to second for one and that's two but a run will score in the inning on this RBI double and the home team down to run this is the Bay Bridge series on the show back here at Oracle Park 
and today's starting pitcher number 40 and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one right through there for a strike. Just off the outside edge. It's two and two. It's a good take. Not even close there. And now it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. The one one. Pulls that one foul. The pitch. And they'll do it again. The one two. This one in the air right field. Rooker moving under it. Two down. Here's the Giants lineup, and one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Elliot Ramos. And Boog, he's a big-time run producer for these guys, man. Leading the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. Here's Elliot Ramos. One. That one way outside, and yeah, that's ball two. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two out spaces empty. Hit hard, that gets through. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two outs, runner at first. The batter will be Michael Conforto. And another ball. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And a big swing and a miss. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So first and second with two outs. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next Giant to hit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Second inning, set to go. Here's the left fielder, number 28. One one now. Out to short. Fitzgerald. The throw to first. And quickly one away in the second.
Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Abraham Toro. The 1 1. And the slider just misses. Not close with that one. And now three balls and a strike. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. And strike two. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. One out, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there, and with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it, and you might need a pitching wedge. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. At the belt and fires. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Yastrzemski makes the grab. And that is that. We played an inning and a half. It's one nothing. here in San Francisco bottom half of inning number two and now the veteran third baseman Matt Chapman two one now just missed and that's ball four take your base Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass and now Brett Wisely. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Kicks and fires. Straighten him up a little bit. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So up next, David VR. And here it comes. And now two and one. And a pitch. That one misses. Three and one. Ooh. A swing and a miss as he chases okay. way out of the zone. And the righty deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there is another strikeout. Here's Kirk Casale. Next pitch inside. Now two balls and a strike. Two outs. Ball. 
Jorge Soler on deck for San Francisco. Kicks and deals. That clips the corner. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One left for San Francisco. They trail here. one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop. Number 12. That one misses, and the count's even at two. This to third, Chapman. Slings to first, and one away in the top of the third. The batter, the center fielder, Lawrence Butler. And now it's going to be Lawrence Butler. One down, base is empty. That one ripped. And it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw in there safely. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runner at third with one gone. Miguel Andujar will hit next. That misses the zone. Ball two. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that swing at a ball popped up. PR settles underneath it. And there are two down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. That one finds the zone, and the count one and two. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. One left for Oakland, but they hold a 1-0 lead. And we're back. Jorge Soler up at the plate. The designated hitter, Jorge Soler. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. The battle, the right field. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019, and San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Ground ball right side. Nevin steps on the bag and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. 
Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. And now two and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Got him swinging. Giants go down quietly, and it remains 1 0. Back for more of the Battle of the Bay. Out of the fourth. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. Here's a 1 1. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Bounce to the left side. Into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now back. Left field. Now the left yeah. fielder. And he deals. Out towards right center field. Ramos on his way over. Ramos makes the play. The batter, the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro getting ready to hit. Nevin off the of first with two away. And it's filled up. Full count. Two outs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The right That's hander the gives up the Take two the out walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, yeah, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Now it's going to be Brett Harris. Next offering upstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Good eye in that spot. Activity in the bullpen. Jordan Hicks getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 74, a hard-throwing right-hander up as well. That one finds the zone, and it's 3-2. And, and boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Stays alive. Three, two. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Base is full, two gone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Off the mark there. Two and two. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them.
The 2-2. Two -two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Righty delivers. And another ball. Smoked into left field. Base hit. One runs in. The second run scores. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Bob Melvin hands the baseball over. Hayden Birdsaw won't go any further tonight. Just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. Now on the bump, Jordan Hicks. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So the batting order turns over, and now here is Lawrence Butler. Next offering is foul back. Left hand batter waits. Two, two. Backed off the plate that time. That one misses, and it's a full count. Miguel Andujar in the on deck circle for the A's. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. Top half of inning number four. And they're all loaded up. Two outs, bases loaded. Miguel Andujar up next for the A's. Here's a 1-1. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. And a pitch. Far off foul. That one not close. Three and two down. Base is loaded, two down. Ground ball right side, wisely. In plenty of time to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. And midway in the fourth, it's the A's three, and the Giants nothing. the fourth Michael Conforto will climb in and he grounds one back up the middle lays out but he can't squeeze it no throw and he's on it first Tyler Fitzgerald the next giant to hit and a pitch no. just missed With all these Giants as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate they're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs can they turn that around and stay within the zone we'll see but I think they have to and that's ripped into left base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out two consecutive base hits for this team solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he made it out front for the line drive knock now Matt Chapman at the plate right hander kicks deals Ball three, just outside. missed
the pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's the second baseman, Brett Wisely. Conforto, the runner at third. Fitzgerald at second. Chapman on at first with nobody out. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The 2-2 two -two now. And that's in the door. The pitch. Ball four. And a run comes in to score. Man, that looked to be in the strike zone right there. That's a tough one to have go against you and force in a run. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Scott Alexander. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. David Vial, the next Giant to hit. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Squeezes it, and there's one down. I understand with the bases loaded. Start looking your chops, thinking you can hit a four bagger, but really have to be disciplined and not let the pitcher off the hook. And up next for San Francisco, Kurt Casali. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a swing and a miss there. One, two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. One run across in the frame so far. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Ripped on a line. And that is the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We're headed to the fifth. It's the A's three, and the Giants one. Back here at Oracle Park, ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in for Oakland, Brent Rooker. The 1-1. One -one. That one lifted to left. Has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. One down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder that coming one. open instead of staying that. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Rocketed out towards right center. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together for him. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Man at second with one away. Next up for the A's, Tyler Nevin. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. And a count. One and two. This one chopped up the middle. Throws the first in time. Now back. Left 
Jazz. Here's the left fielder. Two outs. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Got him looking. And he didn't like the call. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the A's three and the Giants one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. On the ground to the left, and that squirts through. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. Man at second. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Swings and misses. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And here is Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And up next for the Giants, Tyler Fitzgerald. The pitch. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Back-to-back -back singles, other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field, so that definitely felt good. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, one out. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Off-balance feed, there's one. On to Nevin, that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Abraham Toro. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Brett Harris up next for the A's.
That's to third. Chapman. Tosses to first. That's an out. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Now it's the shortstop. Here comes a pitch. So now one and two. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one hit to first. VR takes it himself. Oakland goes quietly. Three up, three down that time. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the A's three and the Giants two. Bottom of the six. And digging in for San Francisco, Brett Wisely. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now here is David VR. Snap over to first. Wisely dives and can't get back in time. He's picked off. Man, you're feeling so good. You just got the knock. You're on base, and then right away you get picked off. That's just a tough one to swallow, especially after leading off at any with a single. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. The A's up by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Caught him looking for the K. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze it. And here's the catcher, Kurt Casali. And a pitch. On the ground right side gets to it with a slide and that's a great play for the out. Top of inning number seven. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's Lawrence Butler. Butler. And a 1-1. Swing and a foul straight back. At the belt and fires. Ball that two. one missed. 2-2. Two, two. Riding to the plate. Outside low. And the count's full. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Miguel Andujar up next for the A's.
That's in there. That's strike two. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. He goes down looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Two down, nobody on. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And another ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. Three and two now. Side and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. The A's strand one, but they still lead it 3 2. Get a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joey Estes. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Jorge Soler now at the plate. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Swing and a miss as he was out front. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Austin Adams getting loose out there. Otanez also getting ready. Looking to get the tying run on base. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. pitch and yeah, there's a ball swing and a miss Adam out front for the strikeout a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels Mike Yastrzemski the next giant to hit off the plate inside and it's two and one One down, base is empty. Hard hit, right side. Nevin takes it to the bag, and that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And here is Elliot Ramos. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Look at the stop. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Tyler Rogers. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Tyler Nevin digs in now. The two one. Nevin tries to hold up, appeal to first, no swing. And the pitch to the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the left fielder. Kicks and deals. And a sack bunt here. Fires to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Digging in for Oakland, Abraham Toro. One run game, one out, one on. Runner on the go. On the ground at first. Takes it himself. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now the third baseman, Brent Harris. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Number 76 getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Harrison warming up as well. And yeah, strike two. Two balls, two strikes. And it finds its way through for a hit. The throws offline. He's safe. And they take a two-run lead. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And the batter will be the shortstop. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4 2. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Austin Adams. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Here's the left fielder, Michael Conforto. The left fielder, Michael Conforto. Ball to strike. And another ball. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Otis Colsey, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Why to kick the pitch? And ball that's three. outside. And that's ball three. three Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And he walked him. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And up next for San Francisco, Tyler Fitzgerald. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Oh. 
The shortstop takes the ball. And a swing and a miss down on strikes and one away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And here is Matt Chapman. Chapman gets a piece there. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Pitch hitter coming on, Lamont Wade Jr. Big at bat here, so looking for a better matchup with a left-handed bat. The tying run at the plate. And one and two. One, two. Tying run at the plate. And another ball. Two, two. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Bangs off the wall. Headed for the plate. Relay throw home. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. So the Giants leave one. Still down by a count of four to two. Now, now into the game, base. Casey Schmidt. Number He'll play ten. second. Casey Schmidt. At the play, Lawrence Butler. And here it comes. No, that's the ball. This is off the play. Now three and one. one First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Okay. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now it's the DH, Miguel Andujar. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Man at first with one gone. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. The 2 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two ball, two strike. Two, two down. That one is absolutely belted. Ramos raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. So, man aboard. Now at the plate, Shea Langoliers. 